Okay, in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to create a new telephone extension for people that are gonna be spending most of their time outside of the office. So the process is very much the same as creating a normal telephone extension. However, we do have to make a small tweak to make sure that people, when they're on their iPhone or their Android, or if they've got a telephone handset plugged into their router at home, can connect properly to the BuzzBox machine back in the office. So what we need to do is create an extension first, and to do that, we're gonna just log into our BuzzBox dashboard so we're going to go to the uh, standard dashboard page then click on the first icon which is add edit or remove a telephone extension so we're going to click on that and all we're going to do is add a new extension as you would do in our previous tutorial so for example I'm going to create an extension with the number 6002 and call this Stuart Spice and um, external for example give it a secure password don't use this password uh, give it a secure password don't need voicemail on this so basically what I'm doing here is creating a brand new telephone extension as you can see I've already got one here 6001 but that would be for example for my office phone so when I'm in the office I would use this this particular number however if I was to set up my iPhone or my Android device or I had a separate handset back at home ideally we would have a separate extension because you can't have two phone extensions that are the same on two different handsets or two different devices so we have to create two separate ones so my first one is 6001 here I'm now creating one called 6002 I'm calling that Stuart Spice external so I'm just going to submit that and then it'll say action is completed successfully okay so now I've got two extensions I've got 6001 and 6002 now the first thing I need to do is make sure 6002 knows how to connect home back to the BuzzBox machine in your office because I'm going to be using that on my mobile device or I'm going to be using um, a handset plugged into my broadband router. So to make this small change we have to click on administration panel here, the advanced administration panel. So I click on that icon and this is into the more advanced part of BuzzBox. Um, but what we need to do is only make one small change, it's not desperately complicated. So we're going to click on applications at the top here and in here there's an option called extensions so we're going to click on extensions and now we can see our extensions on the right hand side so we've got Stuart Spice and the new one that we've just created Stuart Spice external 6002 so I'm going to click on 6002 then on the left hand side all the settings for the telephone extension will appear now most of this we can ignore some of it is, 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 un is unnecessary for uh, this purpose right now so ignore all of it but carry on scrolling down until you see a section that's called NAT. So NAT is basically the setting that um, determines that whether or not the phone extension is going to be used in the office or outside of the office. So if we just scroll down, Here we can see NAT, N-A-T. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say yes to that. Once I've selected yes, I'm gonna click submit. Once we click submit, we can just click this red button at the top here that says apply config, and then we can apply the config, and away we go. So now we've got two extensions. Now this one will work perfectly well outside of the office. So when you're configuring uh, Bria, for example, which is a, a remote app that you can install on your iPhone, then this extension will work perfectly fine. So you can call 6002 and it will call the person's mobile device or call their handset. Now the thing is, when you're out of the office, if someone wants to get in touch with you, they're gonna probably use your main extension, which is in this case 6001. Now if they ring that, then if you're not in the office, then who's going to know that you're available still on your 6002 number? So in an ideal world, we would have a setting that allows both of those extensions to ring at the same time. So when someone dials 6001, it will also dial 6002, i.e. your iPhone. So to set that up, we need to create a thing called a follow me. So the other section we need to access here is under applications and then follow me. So we click on follow me. And then what we're going to do is click on the, the, the main extension number. So here we've got 6001. That's my main Stuart Spice one. I want to edit this. So if I click on that. Now what we do here is set a list of phone numbers to ring when someone calls this main number. So this is the follow me list, as we can see here. Currently I've got it to set up uh, to ring 6001 
and this is from a setting earlier, 6011. So if someone rings 6001, it's also going to ring 6011 simultaneously. So what I want to do is add 6002, which is the extension we just created at the mo uh, a moment ago. So we've got 6001, 6011 and 6002. It's going to ring all those numbers all at the same time. So then we click Submit then click Apply. And that's it. So now when someone rings 6001, they're going to be calling 6002 at the same time and 6011 all simultaneously. And that's an extension I created prior to this tutorial. But in your case, you're going to be creating just two extensions. But you can add as many as you like here. What's really cool with this feature as well, if you wanted it to ring an external phone number, i.e. a mobile phone, you can type in a mobile phone number here. And then make sure you put a hash symbol at the end. Then what that will do is that will ring six zero when someone calls six zero zero one it'll ring six zero what zero one it'll ring six zero one one it'll ring six zero zero two and it'll ring this mobile number at the same time all together at the same time so whoever picks up first that's where the call ends and remember every time we make a change here when I click submit changes you'll see there's a red button at the top here that comes up apply config so do also make sure you press apply config every time we make a change and that's about it. So once you've done those two steps, you can now basically have someone out of the office and in the office on two separate extensions, but basically tied together. So when someone rings the first extension, all of them will ring simultaneously. So the person is never out of touch.